Now, it's one of the East Midlands' big success stories, employing thousands of people and adding millions of pounds to the region's economy. It's now more than 30 years since the first car rolled off the production line at Toyota in Derbyshire. And as Steve Beach reports, it's gone on show at one of our museums. Toyota succeeded where UK manufacturers like British Leyland failed. The company chose a site at Burniston near Derby for its state-of-the-art plant. It opened in 1992, with cars produced on this modern production line exported all over the world. The Avensis was the most, the most popular car so far made at Burniston. They made over two million of these. Um, and currently, this is the car that's currently in production, the new Corolla, uh, which was one of the first hybrids produced in Europe. But Toyota wasn't the first company to build cars here in the East Midlands. This Rolls-Royce was built in Derby for Lord Baden-Powell, who started the Scouts. And this scimitar, owned by Princess Anne, was one of a small number built in Beeston near Nottingham. But managers here at the Great British Car Journey in Belper feel it's only right Toyota's success story is celebrated. Toyota have now been here for more than three decades and they are the world's largest car manufacturer so it seemed appropriate to, um, to have a, a, a half a chapter devoted to the Toyota sort of presence in the UK. Over the last 32 years, more than 5 million cars have been built at the Toyota plant at Burniston. And this is the very first one. It still drives and has just 3,000 miles on the clock. It's a sort of typical of a generation of the early 90s cars in, in that it does everything that you want it to do in a very sort of efficient, analogue sort of a way. The museum also features two other cars produced at the Berniston plant over the last three decades and a state-of-the-art car which runs on hydrogen. While this was the first car built at Berniston, millions more are expected to follow. What form they'll take? Well, no one really knows. Steve Beach, BBC East Midlands Today in Belper.